Hey, we're wrapping up 2023 and we have some big changes coming in 2024 to the loan limits. So if you've been thinking about buying a house, you want to listen up to this. Some big changes are coming to the loan limits in 2024 and their um, changes just may make it easier for you to buy a house. So what is the big deal of these loan limits changing? So first off, let's talk about the numbers. In 2024, the loan limits for single family homes are going up to 750. And that's a jump of 23,800 last year. So that's the base amount. So if you're in places like Alaska or Hawaii, it could be even higher. So the base amount there is uh, 1 million 125 to be exact. So if you've been sitting on the fence, thinking about buying a house, you might want to jump in at this time. We also have seen rates tick back down at the end of 2023, making it even more affordable now than it has been to buy a house. So I want to look at a couple of things though, because we want to wait here and, and analyze this. If you're looking to buy a house that's more, more than one unit though, like a duplex or fourplex, loan limits are even higher. So check these numbers out. A two unit house is 960,300. Three unit house loan limit for conventional financing is 1,160,750. And then the four unit properties are 1,400,000. 42,600. So that's a lot of money, right? So the best part of this though, if you put down just 5% on one of these multi-unit homes um, on a primary residence, you could possibly get qualified with only 5% down. So that means you can rent out the other units, making it even more affordable for you to live in the house. And we also want to highlight VA loans. So if you're a veteran, you might be wondering about VA loans. Normally VA loans don't have a set limit, but sometimes there's situations where the limits do apply. If you use your VA benefits before, so if you have unpaid VA loan, uh, maybe due to a foreclosure or somebody else, maybe the one thing that's common right now is veterans had super low rates, so they're allowing people to assume their loans, which actually can impact the amount availability of a, a VA financing on the next house. So what does this mean for you? So what's the takeaway? Well, have you been dreaming about owning a house? Well, these new loan limits might be your ticket. So take some time, look at your finances, explore the mortgage options to see how these can change and help you reach your goals. One other item I'm gonna show share with you is this is helping our jumbo category as well, because if you think about the loan limits going up on the first mortgages, a lot of times you might not qualify for a true jumbo financing because the strict restrictions on guidelines are um, a little different sometimes but what you can do is you can do a first mortgage uh, now at the higher limits and then do a second mortgage and that might be your way to finance the house where, where you can't qualify for a jumbo loan so i just want to highlight these items here get your thoughts going i think this is a great um, great way to finance and help out more families conventional financing over the years has really helped um, continue the goal of uh, the U.S. to make the home, um, you know, really the cornerstone of our communities, cornerstone of our financial uh, well-being and our families. So I applaud Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac to kind of be be watchful of this and making these changes when necessary, and allowing us to finance here in America, finance America dream. Happy house hunting out there! If you have any questions, reach out to us. Direct number is 480-553-8770. And you can always go to mortgagestrategycall.com, mortgagestrategycall.com. And you can reach us again at that 480-553-8770 or mortgagestrategycall.com. Have an awesome day. Happy New Year.